there is confusion over whether outgoing cabinet secretaries should continue attending to their duties or stay away and wait to hand over to would-be successors. A section of CSS are still in office, with Health Cabinet Secretary Mutahi Kagwe even signing off a press release from his desk. Some of the outgoing CSs have, however, ceased reporting to duty, having prepared their handover notes. This, says President William Ruto, is awaited to name his cabinet lineup. Sam Gituku reports. The last time President Uhuru Kenyatta's full cabinet met and details of the meeting made public was in May 2022, nearly three months before the election. Ever since, cabinet secretaries have been winding down their tour of duty in readiness for transition. With the term of the appointing authority having come to an end, at the inauguration of the fifth president, the CSAs are now left to conclude their tenure. At least four cabinet secretaries reported to be still on duty on Thursday, albeit at scaled-down activities. These are Labour CS Simon Chelugui, Rochelle Omamo of Foreign Affairs, CS Farida Karone of Lands, and Mutahi Kago of Health. CS Kagwe even signed off a statement updating the country on the state of the COVID-19 pandemic. However, some of the CS is told of conclusion of office duties and are now waiting to hand over to their successors when appointed. Defense CS Eugene Omalwa says he is ready with his handover notes, waiting for the day, while Professor Margaret Kobe of the Public Service Ministry says, quote, Once the former president has left State House, CSAs are in office just waiting to hand over. CSAs can be consulted, but it is principal secretaries that remain doing day to day administration of their state departments. Kobe says government services must continue smoothly during the transition. End of quote. <laughs> Part of the cabinet secretaries believe that the term of a CS ends when a new CS has been sworn in to succeed them, just like the term of a president ends when a new one has been sworn in. That CSs remain as caretaker ministers and thus must scale down their activities, but just enough to ensure that delivery of government services continues. <laughs> Another group of CSs, some of whom have since stopped reporting to their offices daily, say that the term of a CS ends with the exit of the outgoing president since they are not appointees of the new president. These CSs believe that they no longer have executive power delegated to them by a president. As such, PSs are responsible for running ministerial departments. Even then, these CSs believe that the new president could reach out to an existing CS for consultation and if necessary, CSs who succeed them can consult them when the time comes. Is over. During the transition, the head of public service issued a directive that the ministers shall not pronounce any new policies for their ministries, that exiting CSs shall not travel out of the country on official duty, meaning they cannot travel to represent the government of Kenya. The circular also limited expenditure by the CSs within the ministries to a maximum of 50 million shillings, and that for anyone to spend more than that, they must seek clearance from the National Treasury. It is understood that the tenure of chief administrative secretaries has since ended since they used to take instructions from the CSs, who no longer have full executive power. The majority of the CSs have since prepared their handing over notes detailing achievements made during their tenure, existing gaps with recommendations on where the new CSs could focus on. On Friday last week, Four days before President William Ruto's inauguration, Interior CS Fred Matiangi penned a letter to senior officials within the security sector, thanking them for the time they served together. Matiangi wrote, quote, I exit Harambe House richer from shared knowledge of public institutions and a valuable contact base of men and women whose wealth of training and exposure has given me renewed sense of purpose. Matiangi further added, the dawn of a new administration is at hand. I invite you to take deserved pride in your role as security providers for supporting delivery of the most peaceful election in Kenya's history. <laughs> Sources say that CS Matiangi has since been away from Harambe House, the office of the president. In the letter, he dispelled claims of security sector interference in the elections. He wrote, quote, Despite immense criticism, scorn and false accusations of scheming to manipulate and interfere with the general election, our sector put up a stellar 
and professional performance in supporting IEBC. End of quote. There has, however, been no instructions to any CS to stop reporting to duty. Once President Ruto names his cabinet nominees, they will be subjected to vetting by the National Assembly's Committee on Appointments, which is yet to be established. It is only after approval by Parliament that such nominees will be appointed and sworn in to take over from their predecessors. Sam Kitukos, TV, Nairobi.